Hey love, this is Nicolette and today I want to talk to you about promotion graphics and what they are and how to create them inside of Canva. graphics that you would use to promote either a freebie that you want your idle clients to download from your website or on social media or you can use promo graphics to promote a launch digital products or even your shop now the promo graphics specifically what i'm talking about today is the ones with the mock-ups the ones where you get to see an example of what it is that you're going to get when you download this product or when you purchase this product. An example of pages of the ebook or workbook or the checklist or the graphics that you're getting, like in my case with my shop, when you purchase one of my template sets. Let's look at a few examples and then I'm going to show you exactly how to go about creating your own inside of Canva. On Creative Market are tons of examples of what promo graphics will look like. Here is a printable for a baby prediction card. So it shows you exactly what you're getting with the background. And sometimes what you'll see is there might be a logo or a link to a website. Over here we have a life planner, the soft pink background, and then more information on this side. We'll just click through what the plan looks like. You're at a glance view. Here's another one. It shows you exactly what you can expect it to look like. And what you'll notice a lot of the times with promo graphics is that they either will use tablets or phones or additional scene elements, like over here with the cone, the pencil, the computer. We'll cover those in a little bit more detail later. The goal is to keep these as simple as possible so that the product pops and speaks for itself. And here's another gorgeous example, again with some additional tools, a blue marble-ish background. A good approach in keeping it simple is to keep the backgrounds the same. In my own store for Creative Market and my website, you'll see that I like to do the same. I have the same marble background and I just bring in a touch of my own blue. And then at the top, because I might be sharing these in different places, so I want them to be multi-purpose, I'll repeat their name or what that template is and include my logo. And here is an example of how you might bring in a tablet and additional scene creators like that pencil or a succulent or even something like a circle to have some of the text stand out more. You can have the scattered pages look. You can just kind of line up three pages really simply. Now that we know what exactly promo graphics are, let's go over how to create them. Step number one is to first create your product. Is it a checklist? Is it a template? Is it a workbook or an ebook? Create that product, then make sure that you have JPEG and PNG versions that you can export and import back into Canva. Step number two is to write your copy. So open up a Google Doc and write down what it is that you want your graphic to say. This is very helpful as you're designing your graphic to know kind of what space-wise to allocate for your copy and for your text. A lot of people overlook this step and that's why it takes a bit longer for you to create your graphic and be happy with the end result. As you're creating your copy for your image, think about whether you'll be creating just one graphic to share on your website, like an opt-in, or on social media, or if you're guiding your viewer through a range of graphics. Like for me with my shop, you can see that there's a bunch of graphics that shows you what is included in a set when you purchase one of my Canva template packs. You want to think about whether you need versions of that graphic, whether that versions will need copy, and also if you're guiding people through a sequence. Then step number three is to create your promo graphic template. Now the first one may take a bit longer, but once you have your look and your feel and your style down, all you'll do is tweak and repeat it for the rest of the graphics. Now you can create these rectangular or square. I like to use a pretty large dimension size so that I know that if I am uploading it to social media, creative market, or different sites, and they compress the graphics, 
that I am covered um, in terms of pixels or dimension size. And what I'll often do is I'll first create my rectangular design, I'll make a copy of that design, and then I'll tweak it for a square version. And then as I go through to show you an example of how I would create a promo graphic, keep in mind to use your own backgrounds, patterns, icons, or scene creator elements to personalize and create a unique branded graphic for your promo images. Let's get designing. I'm in a Canva document right now, and this is the dimension size that I like to use, 3,600 by 2,394, and I am going to promote a workbook template. What I'm gonna do is just go to my existing examples and just use that. So it's going to be this workbook, and I'll start off with three pages. What I like to do starting out is just to make sure that the pages are all the same size. So they're sized. I will find the perfect placement for them in a minute. First, I focus on my copy. I use my branded fonts, brand colors. You can choose to have these right in the center, or if you're putting copy on the side, you might want it to be off center. We'll start by doing a center one, and then I'm just going to start adding in the rest of my elements. One of the things you might want to include is either the name of this product, or you could use your URL. Then you might wanna add in your background, and I'll pull this background all the way through, and because I always want the product to be the main focus area, I'll usually bump down the transparency. Now I'll do a little overlay, so I'll put square in my search box. And I'm just going to pull this through over here for now until I decide what I wanna do. If I had any additional information, I could add this in here or over here. What I usually like to do is to either add a circle or if it's a opt-in, a graphic with like a button. Let's go ahead and go with the circle route since we're promoting template. That is just the basic steps of what you would follow to create your own promo graphic. Now that the basic elements are there, I can start playing around with different ideas. For instance, I can add my logo. I could maybe choose to put one of these in a iPhone or a tablet. So over here I have an iPad, and now what I'll try and do is I will just try and resize my graphic to fit this tablet perfectly. I don't want you to feel discouraged if this is not perfect right from the get-go. As you will see, it's just going to take you adding in the main elements and then tweaking and playing with it from there. In this case, what I might do is put an additional border around it so that it looks like it fits this tablet perfectly. Okay, so these two are the exact same concept. One is just with the tablet, one is without. Let's look at another variation. Maybe in this instance, I want to ungroup these guys and have a few more page examples. And I'm just going to change out the logo. And maybe what I also wanna do is add a bit more text. So I might give a bit of information about what exactly you get. And I might wanna fix typos while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, so this is just a really rough example. And now what I can do is I can play further. I have my basic elements down. So now I just kinda of see, do I prefer this guy further down here towards the back? or the whole space. Do I like it repeated at the top and maybe darker? Or what I might do is make a bigger circle over here in this area. And I'll group these guys so that I can change their color faster. And then I'll move this one over. And then I can add ungroup and add in here another bullet point, only $10. Do you see how we've evolved from just starting out, feeling our way to having a few different variations? And this is exactly what you would do. You would just create a few different variations if you're creating like a sequence or a series of them, or you would just create your look and then repeat it for a future promo graphics. I wanna show you really quick how to use scene elements. 
make it completely pink and move it to the back. Move up this guy and these ones. Now again, you would do this if it makes sense for your brand. One of my favorite scene creator bundles is from Twiggy Posts. And the reason I say PNG is so that you can do this. You can pull it over your different color background. The scene creator from Tricky Post also comes with a tablet and also an iPhone, also the back of an iPhone. Some really handy options for you to use. You get the idea. I hope that this was helpful. I hope it inspires you to create your own promo graphics for your digital products. If you love this kind of training and this information, then I elaborate even more in my Canva Template Lab membership, where I help female business owners create their own Canva templates and products for their shops or for their clients. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I look forward to seeing what kind of promotion graphics you come up with using these tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.